we are honest about prostitution. We know that we have it, and we know where we have it. Here in Las Vegas, prostitution is illegal. That explains 28 yellow pages of escort services. Now, if you're walking around on East Fremont Street, it's illegal. But if you're in the hotels or one of these mysterious businesses that for no reason at all tend to have a handful of limos always hanging around, they're not so much. Now, you think the police are actually like, huh, have you ever noticed all the limos hanging out over at that taco shop? <laughs> yeah. Those tacos must be really expensive. Hmm. Always got a lot of really hot girls there, too. Yeah, probably gold diggers. Wow. Those wealthy people must love them tacos. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they have an all-you-can-eat special. Now, police aren't that stupid. They might be dumb enough to arrest people for riding on the sidewalk with chalk and then talking the district attorney into charging them with a major crime. They might be that stupid, but they are not stupid enough to not know what is going on over at the taco shop. Probably had a few tacos over there themselves. <laughs> it's just, here in Nevada, we have a different way of dealing with things. Take our mentally ill, please, because we do not want them. We do not even like acknowledging that they exist. And face it, this recession hit us way harder than everybody else. Man. This recession hit us way harder than everybody else. Um, Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just happened to hear him talking over there. Okay. So anyway, this recession hit us way harder than everybody else. And uh, when th things get tough, you look for things to cut. So you think to yourself, oh, what could we cut? Oh, let's cut the mentally ill funding. Oh, we didn't fund that to begin with. Well, huh, who does do a good job? Ah, oh, California. And hey, have you ever been there? The place is full of them. And let's just send our mentally ill to California one at a time by bus. We'll call it Operation Greyhound Therapy. What could possibly go wrong? Send mentally ill to San Francisco. High on a pill. Once there, just chill. And have you ever been to San Francisco? It's hard to do anything but chill. Doesn't matter what time of year you go there, better bring a parka. Hmm. Now, there was a little snafu in our plan. It turned out almost everybody we sent survived and lived to tell their story. And now we look like the bad guy. Now, Nevada, you would think, would be a state that everybody else would be jealous of because we have great weather, always nice scenery, plenty of things to go do. But Nevada is actually jealous of all the other states because we're last in all of the good categories like high school graduation and school funding, and we're first in all of the bad categories. We've got um, re, uh, repos um, foreclosures, suicide, and teenage pregnancies. And <laughs> so anyway, Nevada is so jealous of all the other states that our state abbreviation actually is envy. Okay. That's the first half. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love to drive, and I pay attention to things when I drive. And when I'm driving around Vegas, I know you got these yellow signs, parallel lines going across, black man standing there. 
Now you know how some white people think. They see a sign like this, it registers in their minds as warning, watch out for black men at crosswalks. And I hate to admit this, but when I'm driving around Vegas, I am always catching myself saying things like, yay, white man, thank you, white man, blessed be the white man. Now, I'm not saying that because I'm a white supremacist. I'm saying that because I'm driving toward a green light. And right beneath the green light, a lit up little white man. <laughs> you see that little white man and you know you can keep on cruising because that light will not be changing color. Now, if you're driving toward a green light, you don't see the little white man. All you see is orange blinking going on. Then it's like, oh no, damn it, son of a bitch. 45, 50, 55, 58, stay yellow, yes, ha <laughs> ha, it was yellow. And you know how it is when you get pulled over, you get all flustered. What's the rush? Uh, 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 I didn't see a white man. And well, a anyway, uh, I, I, I was approaching the intersection back there, and, and like I said, I, I did not see a white man. <laughs> Turns out that answer does not go over very well with black female officers. <laughs> I do love to drive, though. <laughs> I also love sports. I love all sports, that's why I really like the Olympics. Now this last Olympics, you could just tell the entire world was in an economic downturn. You can know things are bad when the water polo final is between hungry and starving. <laughs> now, our women did great these last Olympics, 29 gold medals. And a lot of guys really like that women's beach volleyball. I like women's volley volleyball, but the sexiest Olympic event by far has got to be women's weightlifting. <laughs> women's weightlifting is broken up into two categories. There's the clean and jerk and the snatch. <laughs> now, I tell you what, I only weigh 145 pounds. Any one of them women could clean and jerk me any day. <laughs> And I don't know what it is, but I just love watching a woman going all out in the snatch. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way better than beach volleyball. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the evening.